going to make a doll inspired by Minnie Mouse. First, let's find a doll. I want to use a doll with dark hair, so maybe she could work if we can find her a made-to-move body. This is the purple top made-to-move Barbie body, and I think it's a little too light. Let's try the made-to-move Barbie soccer player. Ready for a head transplant, you two? Say it with me. Off with their head! There is definitely a color difference. It's crazy because in person it looks like it matches, but on camera it looks off just a little. I have an idea! We could use Wonder Woman! Oh, so we could make Gal Gadot the biggest Minnie Mouse fan ever! Sorry, but we're gonna have to do this one more time. Say it with me! Off with their head! Now that is a perfect match. Now let's make her an outfit. Using a polka dot cotton print, I take a pair of doll pants, deconstruct them by removing the seams, trace it onto a piece of paper to give me a starting point for creating my pattern. We also showed how to do this in our custom Sophia Carson video. Now I am going to alter it. I want these pants to be high-waisted, so I'm just gonna add a little extra to the top. I add a seam allowance going all the way around, except for the inseam. The pants already had a small seam allowance. I just wanted one that was a little wider. Plus, if it's too big, I can always take it in. Cut it out, place it onto the fabric, cut it out, flip the pattern over, cut it out again to make two. Stack them good side to good side, lining up the edges. Sew a straight line going around the curve and stop. You can sew this by hand or use a sewing machine. I'm using a sewing machine because it's a little faster. Make small cuts around the curve to release the tension. Sew a zigzag along the bottom of each leg to stop it from fraying. Fold the bottom edge over, sew a straight line across to make a hem. Now I am going to take the top that has been sewn, pull it down, go around, pulling the other leg over to the other side, then line up the edges to form the pants. Pin them together at the sides, sew straight lines down both sides, Try them on the doll, using pins to keep it closed in the back where the Velcro is going to go. Pinch and mark where it needs to be taken in. I am making some tiny darts in the front. That's when you pinch a triangle shape in the material and sew at an angle to contour the fabric to the doll shape. I take them in on the doll's lower leg, sew on the line drawn, try it on the doll to make sure they fit, Trim off the excess material, then finish the edges with a zigzag stitch. Fold over and hem the top, flip them right side out, cut a small piece of Velcro, pull it apart, sew the opposite sides onto the back of the pants so they can overlap to close. To make our doll a pair of high-waisted pants, I cut a rectangle of white fabric, that can fit around the doll's torso and overlap in the back. Sew a zigzag around the edges to prevent it from fraying. Fold over and hem the long sides using a straight stitch. Cut a small piece of Velcro, pull it apart, wrap the fabric around the doll's chest, fold over one side to make a hem, sew the hook side of the Velcro onto the fabric and the loop side onto the other end. After sewing them together so they can overlap and close, place it on the doll, pinch the material in the front, use a needle and thread to sew it in place, to contour the top to the doll's body. I have red ribbon and red elastic. I cut a piece of elastic, sew the ends together so it can fit around the doll's head. Cut a piece of ribbon, fold over the ends, 
wrap thread around the center to secure it, tie a knot, glue it onto the elastic, part the doll's hair, and use hair bands to create two high buns. So her hair looks like Minnie Mouse ears. Place the bow in front for a Minnie Mouse inspired look. Now let's add a few doll accessories like a pair of black heels, a silver heart necklace, a leather jacket, a black purse, a watch, and a pair of sunglasses to finish our Minnie Mouse inspired look. Gal is definitely Disney bounding here. I'm feeling some Grease vibes, but overall I think the outfit came out pretty cute. I absolutely love her hair. And now our dolls can show their Minnie Mouse spirit with their fabsome look. And if you want the look for your dolls without the sewing, Barbie has several options to create the look. I found this fashion pack at Walmart. The leather jacket is cute. And that purse adds a nice touch to the outfit. We could switch out our polka dot pants for a red patent leather skirt. We found these for $2.50 each. The 250 patent leather skirt is similar to the one that comes in the fashion pack. However, this one has an elastic waistband and a waistband at the top and is not patent leather all the way around. But it still looks pretty cute on. This 250 skirt allows Minnie to rock her polka dots. These $5 accessory packs keep you in the red, white, and black theme. And this pack comes with the same sunglasses that we used for our doll. This accessory pack gives some cute purse options, a necklace, bracelet, black sunglasses, and a black cell phone. Hello? You want to cosplay at Disney World? Absolutely! I'm totally there! Giving our Minnie Mouse fangirl a larger wardrobe. Thank you for joining us! Show us your Minnie Mouse inspired dolls using hashtag MyFroggySubFanPics. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! We want to give a shout out to Popping Candy 7691. What's up? Carmen, I'm so glad you're here. Sophie, what was the big emergency? I can't decide if I should get the limited edition Wonder Woman doll or the limited edition Minnie Mouse doll. Sophie, that is not an emergency. Why couldn't there be a Minnie Wonder Mouse Woman doll? But I know that will never happen. Uh